So for a practical evaluation of net energy, if we try to summarize, I think when you measure the energy value of a diet, it's important to adapt the animal to that diet in terms of digestion, in terms of behavior and so on. And the uh, adaptation should last at least five days and it, optimally it should, should be seven or even 10 days. One important fact as well is that uh, the animal is kept in the reception chamber, which is a closed uh, room. And it is important to adapt the animal to the respiration chamber itself at least for one day. Afterwards, the measurements of heat production when the animal is fed should be done for over at least two days and ideally over three or even five days. And uh, that should be done under very standardized and very representative conditions. An option is to use also to measure the fasting heat production uh, but that could be done uh, more easily by only taking literature values. What is important as well is to, me to measure ME value of the feed at the same time as heat production. So from this combined information on heat production and on ME intake or ME value of the feed, you can uh, get an estimate of the amount of retained energy in the body as ME minus heat production. And the simple calculation afterwards consists in calculating net energy as retained energy or energy gain plus fasting in production.